Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody, welcome to this lecture. Today's topic is human error quantification from experts opinion, Fuzzy set approach. So, we will see little bit of Fuzzy number and how the linguistic variable can be converted into Fuzzy numbers. Then from linguistic variable using Fuzzy number, how we will obtain the probability of human error or human error probability and case study. As you know that uh, getting human error probability is very difficult and most of the time we rely on experts opinion and experts are comfortable in giving responses in the linguistic terms and that is the reason we are adopting fuzzy theory and we will show you today how fuzzy theory will be applied to convert the linguistic form of probability values to, to numeric probability values. So, let us discuss little bit of uh, fuzzy set he, here, what is fuzzy logic? Fuzzy logic you know that uh, it basically rely on uh, two things. Uh, one is that the the uh, things what you want to measure, there must be some kind of fuzziness which is basically ambiguity or I can say that overlapping nature and also the imprecis impreciseness. So, under such uh, information, uh, you it is better to adopt fuzzy mathematics rather than the Cripps mathematics. Suppose, if we ask a expert that okay, what is the probability that the operator will commit mistake in closing a valve, then it is very difficult for the expert to tell that it is 0.9 or 0.5 or 0.1, rather he given the context he will be able to tell that it is very likely very poor something like this. So, such information are represented by fuzzy number and in fuzzy number there are two important things. One is that the value as well as the membership function. For example, if this is the variable, suppose x is the variable which can take values a 1 to a 3 and in between let a 1 and a 2 and a 3, these three values you have considered and then this side is the membership function that means, what is the share that basically a 1 within this particular fuzzy set. So, accordingly we will define the variable like this where y is mu a x and if it is within this value a 1 to a 2 the membership value is this and if it is a 2 to a 3 the membership value is this and if it is if it is either less than a 1 or greater than a 3 then the membership value is 0 ok. So, I will not go into that depth of this membership function or the fuzzy values because it is a very much standard thing now and if you do not have much knowledge on this it is better for you to go through a good text like Ross and uh, fuzzy logic. So, that there you, you get the better treatment, but for the time being what I mean to say, I mean to say that fuzzy number is different from Cripps number. In Cripps number if I say particular value the membership is 100 percent, when in case of fuzzy number we will say the value is a 1, so with certain membership function or a 2 with certain membership function. So, <coughs> There are <coughs> different ways to represent fuzzy numbers. The most uh, popular one is triangular one, triangular fuzzy number and trapezoidal fuzzy number. 
in case of triangular Fuzzy number there will be three values a1, a2, a3 and a2 is a value which is having the membership of 1 and a1 and a3 they have uh, they have basically less than a1 or less or a1, a3 that value membership value is 0. So, that means the x value lie between a1 and a3 and in case of trapezoidal fuzzy number you see that the form is it is a trapezoid trapezoid this is the form. So, here what happen there will be four points this a 1 this four vertices you can say this one this this and this. So, everywhere there is a value for x this x is the fuzzy number. So, a 1 with membership value 0 a 3 with membership value 0 but in between when it is a 2 membership value is 1 and a 3 membership value is 1. So, in between in between the membership values will be less than 1. So, then when we are talking about trapezoidal fuzzy number you will be you will be using this kind of mathematical form ok. So, today what we will see now that using the trapezoidal fuzzy number how the linguistic uh, responses given by the experts will be converted to probability values. As we are dealing with human error, so our discussions ultimately or all result in all calculation ultimately gives you the human error probability. But this is a general topic, the mathematics is generic one. So, it can be applied to any kind of probability, any kind of linguistic uh, variable. Uh, uh, we have the responses are given by the experts. Okay. But for our context it is human error and we are asking the expert you tell the probability or possibility of committing errors by the human given the particular type of errors. Okay. So, uh, you all know what are those errors. So, there is scale suppose you are going for uh, linguistic variable with and converting to fuzzy number then there is scale. Now, this is language linguistic variable very poor, poor, medium, poor, medium, medium good, good and very good such kind of things will be there. So, if I want to if I want to say that in terms of probability if I ask that what is the probability of committing error when we are saying very good means it is basically very very high. So, good means high, medium good means medium high, then medium, then medium low, then low, then very low. So, the very poor to very good this is given by the scale is given by OSHA. So, you have to make change to suit the context and if it is very low probability and you are using tra trapezoidal fuzzy number then you have seen already suppose this is my let us consider a trapezoid, trapezoid like this one this is the first one. So, in this case what is a 1? a 1 is 0 what is a 2? a 2 is 0 what is a 3? a 3 is 0 0.1 and what is a 4? a 4 is 0.2. So, this is what is given here 0 0 0.1 point 0.2. So, that means, if, if the response is very poor or very low then this is the representation in terms of fuzzy number. Okay. In, in the same manner the second one 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 this is uh, my triangular fuzzy number because these two are same 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Suppose, if you consider the third one 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So, you start from 0 0.2, then 0 0.3, second vertices 0 0.3, then 0 0.4 and then 0 0.5. So, then this this particular response is represented like this. If your response is medium low or medium then the, this is the fuzzy represent triangle trapezoidal fuzzy representation. So, what you will do? 
you have already seen that using uh, using thar and we have actually and in previous lectures like thar fart and then serpa and we have identified different kinds of human error modes so all those modes when it is uh, given to the expert who knows the totality of the situation then what you will you will give value probability or possibility values in this form either very low low medium low medium then medium high high and very high and then the scale is given by osha what you require to do you require to just convert this very low to this or very poor to this and very good or very high to this and accordingly the graphical representation is this so that means this is basically the data coming from the expert in terms of linguistic variable converting to fuzzy variable fuzzy numbers using the trapezoidal uh, trapezoidal membership function and the scale is given by osa so let us see let us see next what is what we are discussing now let us think of checking error okay so given a particular uh, inspection you have to check whether there is defect is or there is defect or not so while checking you may commit mistake so let hypothetically we are saying this error mode is e1 this is basically the error number in a particular mode it may be checking error it may be action error it may be selection error it may be inspection error but you have several such errors you have identified from the task analysis then what happened you have you, choo, you have to given this this particular error to three expert expert 1 expert 2 and expert 3 and you ask them you tell me what is the linguistic possibilities values so let us in this form report to very high and the analogy with the probability i have already explained suppose the expert has given first expert given it is very poor second one says that the error error mode occurrence is poor and third one given as very poor so two has given very poor and one given as poor then if it is very poor then which one this so this expert one given 0 0 0.1 point 0.2 expert two given 0 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point and expert three has given again 0 0 0.1 point 0.2 point okay so this is basically the what way these fuzzy numbers from the linguistic responses of the experts and this is what is the mapping okay so you have to do first this then in fact i should give you the steps first so how to obtain probability using the fuzzy numbers first step select appropriate linguistics evaluations i have already explained and corresponding membership function then obtain possibilities from experts that very poor poor or very high very low like this Comp third step is compute similarity of the views between the each pair of experts it is important because three experts are or five experts or even more experts usually three or five is better so three experts are chosen and they were given this context and the error modes also given to them you are asking that what is the possibility that operator will commit mistake or commit error so under such situation if the experts are really experts it is quite possible that they will give you more close values so that is the similarity of views so given the expert responses find out the similarity of the views then fourth step after similarity calculation you find out the average agreement degree of the expert so every expert how they are agreeing with the other experts after that you find out the relative agreement degree then after that you you compute the weights of the experts because all experts are not equally uh, expert so there will be differences so that differences also you have to consider so consider the weights then 
using this relative agreement with weights you compute coefficient which is basically consensus coefficient. So, once you have consensus coefficient then you will be able to find out the aggregated value of expert judgment and then this judgment you will be getting in terms of trapezoidal uh, form. So, you require to dephagify this one and then you will get a Cripps value that Cripps value with certain certain equation will be converted to human probability values. So, very quickly I will show you each of the steps now. Step 1 is this identify all the error modes for every error mode ask the expert to give their opinion. So, error mode 1 3 experts opinion opinions are given 3 experts opinion like this. Okay. So, then from the from the fuzzy scale you found out these values this is the first second one. Similarity of the views, how do you know the experts are similar? So, that will be known using this formula. So, calculate degree of agreement by similarity agreement method, the formula is this. So, how many exp, uh, are your uh, experts are there? There are 3 experts. So, how many uh, mem values are there for trapezoidal case there are 4 values. So, use this equation and then using this equation uh, and the data from the Fuji uh, that may numbers that is basically from the trapezoidal membership you got these two when you, these values when you, you put in this equation then you will be finding out the similarity between expert 1 and expert 2 is 1 minus 1 by 4 then 0 minus 0.1 you see then we are talking about similarity between these two. So, 0 minus 0 0.1, 0 minus 0 0.2, 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2, 0 0.2 minus 0 0.3. We are interested in the difference. So, we uh, that minus plus all are same to uh, that is why you put the mode value the absolute value and using this formula now you got the agree similarity or degree of agreement which is 0.875. So, in between expert 1 and expert 2. Similarly, you can find out expert 1, expert 3 and expert 2 and expert 3. So, expert 1, expert 2 similarity value is 0.875, expert 2, expert 3 again 0.875, expert 3 and expert 1 is 1 because you see they are same values giving same values. So, that means experts responses for every error mode is used considering here trapezoidal membership function similarity value is calculated using this formula. You just practice it is not a tough task. Then you find out the average agreement degree of the expert with all others. So, so what you got? You got the similarity value, use this formula, then find out the average agreement degree. Okay. So, average agreement of expert 1 with other experts. So, what is what is required to be used? How many experts are there? 3. So, 1 by d minus 1, 1 by 3 minus 1. Then this is the similarity value between expert 1, expert 2 and expert 1, expert 3. Expert 1, expert 1 is not required and expert 2, expert 3 also not required because we are interested to find out the average agreement for expert 1. So, as a result you will be considering 0 0.875 and 1 and using this formula you are getting average agreement for expert 1. Similarly, for expert 2, similarly for expert 3 and this is the calculation. Okay. Understood? So, so, using this formula find out average agreement, then let us see what is next. 
Next is relative agreement. Relative agreement is again another easy concept. That means the agreement sum your one ex, first expert experiment divided by the sum of the agreement of all the experts. That is what is done here. What is the agreement for first one point nine three seven five? What is the sum this plus this plus this? So denominator is the sum of all those agreements. Numerator is that concerned expert agreement. Then relative agreement for expert one is this. This is done so that ultimately the agree agree agreement relative agreement of all the experts will be sum to one. So this is our. Now we will go for the next step now. Next step is once you have the relative agreement for each expert, find out the weight of the experts. So for weight of the experts, Nikokis and Suda. 1985 given this scale what is this scale here they have considered professional position service time education level and age of the expert and there are different classes of professional position different service time different education level and age and some scores are given these scores definitely based on certain scientific measurement either may be through expert opinion or through simulation or through field studies so then in our case we had three experts expert 1 expert 2 expert 3 and they are details on those first second third four different criteria four different i can say features so junior academician will get four so like this master degree you Oh, it will be four. So like this, four, four, three, three. It is total. So come wait for expert one is fourteen. Wait for expert two is nine, and wait for expert three is thirteen. This basically we calculated from this, from the data given Nicholas and Tisuda. So now you have to find out these weights, normalized weights. So normalized weight will be individual weight by the sum. So fourteen by thirty six is point three nine. Nine by thirty six is point two five. Thirty six by thirteen by thirty six is point three six. So this is experts' weights. So it is how it will be re explained. It will be explained something like this: expert one, expert two, and expert three. If you compare, then expert one and expert three, uh, they are almost equally expert, where expert two is having little less. expertized so that is what the weight so relative agreement is known to you for a particular error for the three experts now experts weights are also known we will use this to find out to find out consensus coefficient consensus coefficient means how the experts ultimately the what is the consensus in the sense how much what is the agreement they have made here so we use this formula 0.5 into the weight of the expert 1 minus 0.5 into that relative agreement if you this this is known this is known and finally for and this is the relative agreement is known weight is known these two combine will give you this in this formula So 0.5 into this, 1 minus 0.5 into this, this will give you these values. So this is basically consensus coefficient amongst the amongst the consensusness amongst the experts. So for every expert, consensus coefficient is found out. Using consensus coefficient, we will you go for the next step. In the next step is basically the aggregated result of the expert judgments. So now see, you have the consensus coefficient, and you for the error mode E one, the three experts and given this values in terms of fuzzy numbers. Just what you are finding out, you are finding out the aggregated result using this. So this multiplied by this plus this multiplied by this plus this multiplied by this. This is nothing but this. So similarly, second one, 
third one and fourth one because it is the trapezoidal phi number. So, four vertices are there, four points. So, all those values calculated here. Okay. Now, what do you what do you do? You this is to be dephagified. So, how you will do the dephagification? Dephagification will be done using the center of gravity okay, rule. So, the that formula is this minus S 1 S 2 plus S 3 S 4 1 by 3 this S 4 minus S 3 square minus 1 by 3 S 2 minus S 1 square divided by S 3 plus S 4 minus S 1 minus S 2. Then S 1 S 2 S 3 S 4 these values are known to you already computed aggregated values. So, these values once you put here the dephagified value is this one. So, using so that means the dephagified value for error you got error mode using this we will go for to the next that is basically how to find out the probability human error probability. So, this one is written here. So, Onisha Onishawa 1988 given this formula to calculate the probability. So, HEP 1 by 10 to the power k, k value already you have you know u 1 dephagified value is this. So, where k is sorry k value will be this this value. Now, 2.301 are multiplied with the dephagified value 1 minus dephagified value by dephagified value to the power 1 by 3 and then then after you got this k value put in this equation 1 by 10 to the power k. So, k value is our this once you put into this formula we got this is the error probability. So, that been for the hu human error mode u 1 it can be anything checking error inspection error counting error whatever anything operation error. So, that error when you have the expert judge values and you please take at least 3 expert and then you use these steps what I have given to you and then finally, come to the probability of committing human error mode E 1 is this that is what is the thing we want to calculate. I hope you have understood it and there is a case study, but I, I do not want to show this case study now. Uh, if time permits, we will show you in some later classes. So, what is this case study known to you? This case study is nothing but the crane study and then uh, we have done task analysis, then finally, using this all the uh, error modes we have found out so many error modes and then we, we have collected the expert opinion. Here we are showing only this portion that inspect lower part what are the different task elements and what are the different error modes that happen and then with this the x 3 experts opinion we have taken we have converted to the fuzzy values. Then finally, all the calculation what I have explained so far is used and then the error probability values are computed. Okay. So, this is interesting one and I I very hurriedly I can say that very quickly I have completed this one. I hope that you have underst you really understood it. If not please put in the discussion forum. Maybe in next class I will revisit it if it is required. Please put in the discussion forum. Thank you very much.